it. Guess what, you guys? I have to brag. Just last week, I celebrated my wedding anniversary, my 10-year wedding anniversary. Isn't that awesome? Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks. I usually don't even mention I'm married on stage, you know, because it makes it so much harder to get laid after the show. But, um... <laughs> oh, man. I'm kidding. I'm totally crazy about my husband. I am. And I'm always trying to keep the love alive, you know what I mean? And after 10 years, man, you got to get creative, don't you think so, ladies? And all the pressure is on women, right, ladies? You know what I mean? It's like the men don't do a lot, but we always have to kind of keep it alive. And I was trying normal stuff like lingerie and music and candles. And none of that stuff worked with my husband, because guess what? My husband is from Wyoming. How many people from Wyoming? Exactly. Like. <laughs> He's like one of those outdoors men, you know, hunting and fishing. Oh my God, he's nuts. You know what You know what I do to get a little action? I end up standing in the middle of the bathtub wearing nothing but a pair of rubber waders. You know? I know, and I'm working, I'm like, come on, go fish, baby, go fish. I know I look stupid, but I got laid every time. I did. It was horrible, man. The first time he took me out on a date, you know, we were out on his boat, he tried to cop a feel, realized how small I was and kept throwing me back, you know? <laughs> She's not legal. It's terrible. But I want to warn you, every time you give your man a little bit of love games, they never leave it alone. They always have to take it to the higher power, right? So all of a sudden, fishing season's over, right? So now it's winter. My husband comes home the other night and it's hunting season. So he's like, hey, baby, put this on. So I actually strapped the antlers to my head. You know, I put them on, then I had to hide between the couch and the ficus tree. I know, I was a little nervous, you know? Because I had never played hide and go hunt before, you know? And I was kind of chilly too, because I was buck naked, you know? But he dug it, you know, because I could hear him in the kitchen, you know? He's like, be very, very quiet. It's wife hunting season. <laughs> you know, it freaked me out, so I start running for the front door because I want to get the hell out of there, right? But he comes around the corner with a big old flashlight and I just froze, I couldn't move a mess out. I was like a deer in headlights, you know? And I thought, oh my God, he's gonna take me outside and strap me to the hood of the car. But instead he ended up mounting me in the library. So. Instead, he ended up mounting me in the library. 